finally, a simple value that was once called outdated and idealistic has become fundamental slogan for a new generation of citizens. And that notion is dignity. This demand for human dignity has altered the relationship between the state and society, and citizens no longer accept empty promises, but they want to matter. Instead, the veil of fear has been shattered, and they are demanding a new voice in governance. Dignity further does not simply mean democracy. It goes beyond. It extends to multiple fields, multiple realms. For instance, social quality, economic opportunity. It, encom it encompasses the most basic rights and freedoms that give life worth. The Arab Spring has echoed across the world. The Occupy movements in America, Europe, and elsewhere are the ch children of Tahrir Square, in the very same way that the Arab Spring is the offspring of the Green Movement in Iran. This is a now more of a universal wave. Here is our reason to be satisfied, even proud. Over the past year, everyday citizens across, not just the Middle East, have rediscovered the power to challenge their governments and to rally for change. These are our achievements and these are our gains. But it would be foolish to think that all the work is done. The enemy of every revolution is complacency. And the most dangerous moment in any revolution occurs when the first winners become careless with their gains, which allowed others to take control and manipulate these gains. Take, for instance, the events of France in May 1968, which for many generations, including mine, was an iconic moment, an example of people power, but also of intense disappointment. In France, the May 1968 protest in Bar, large, the largest general strike in history, more than 10 million French students and, work, and workers shut down the economy in protest for government policies, wage levels, among other grievances like the Arab Spring, May 1968, reverberated everywhere else in the world. Yet when the French government struck a deal to end the strike, the revolutionary spirit quickly faded, and the citizens who claimed victory retained to return to their factories, to their classrooms, and to their home. The next month, the pro-government coalition representing the very conservative establishment elites, which this movement tried to unseat, won a historic and the largest victory in Parliament. They captured 400 out of the 500 seats. There's a chilling analogy to be made here. The grassroots activists who claimed victory did not mobilize. After the protests ended, they did not commit it, committed to building a new democratic order. The key lesson is that long-term demands, long-term commitment, even when pursuing your values, appears costly or unpopular. This means that everyone here, we must continue to capitalize on the modest gains made so far. We must continue to advocate, mobilize, and organize in ways that make an impact in your societies.